good Sunday morning, everybody. It's Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a blessed Sunday. It's sunny here, but it's kind of chilly. I had to run out to the Dollar Tree for a minute. Um, <clears throat> you know, Valentino expects to go for a ride every day, so... Um, Anyways, if you're new and this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, hello. I hope you'll hit that subscribe, excuse me, that subscribe button and stick around. Um, and to all my subscribers out there, hello. I love you all so very much. So, today I thought I'd show you guys. I'm going to make a lantern for my <clears throat> kitchen table right now until I get around making a centerpiece and then I can move this on the end table. So <clears throat> I have this big guy. All right. And I want a candle. Um, I want a candle on them so I can turn the candle on at night. I have some... Um, uh, what do they call this moss? Uh, is there a name for this? It's called forest moss. And I think I got this at Joanne's Fabric. So I'm going me to that. And I just got some different flowers and stems and like some hydrangeas. Um, some, uh, what are these called? Um, this is the tip of my tongue. So I just grabbed, as um, these are hydrangeas, I just grabbed a bunch of things. I don't know what I'm going to use, this or that, but, you know, we'll just go along, see what I come up with. Okay, so first, we're going to do the inside of the lantern. Let me put you down some so you can see. So we're just going to do the inside of the lantern. And I'm just going to put some of this messy moss in there okay just some i better put build it around my candle so we're gonna put the moss in there just for some color i'm wearing my back brace i did order a back brace off of amazon it helps a little bit so Oh, guys, before I forget, do any of you sell Mary Kay out there? If you do, let me know in the comments. I am looking for this shade of red lipstick. Uh, nobody else has can has this, and I love this. So it's from Mary Kay. So if you know of anybody or you sell it, that would be great. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put some Easter eggs in here. It to make it look a little more, a little more festive. So we'll just drop a few eggs in here. I have some smaller ones too, where I have this feel. I know, guys, don't make fun of me. Everybody make. I've been here twenty years, and people in Michigan still make fun of me and say I have an accent. I don't think I do, but. I guess they think I do. Let's put one more egg in here. We'll put a purple one. So that is all I'm going to do, guys, to the inside of the lantern. Okay? And that is cute. Just like that. For me. It's good enough for me. Okay. Oh my God, this moss is everywhere. <laughs> Guys, it's terrible. Like, I didn't know that was going to happen. Let's see if I can just throw this in here. At least I'm not wasting it. <clears throat> what you guys up to today? So... I got some zip ties too. I got my wire cutters, my scissors. Uh, we're gonna make a bow. So I've got Bodabra. I was gonna get out my um the other one, an easy bow maker. 
Now I had the um oh the other one um by Regina. Uh, what was that called? Probo. And I really didn't like it. Um it takes too long to make a bow. They make beautiful bows, don't get me wrong. I'm I have no patience. I mean none. All right, so let's see what we got here. So I bought these at Michael's. I don't know if I want to use these or not, but they're so pretty, but they're too long. So I'm going to try to cut some of this down. Oh, okay. Let's try to make it even. My hands are so weak. Okay. I have better cutters than that anyway. Okay. So right now, you want to, you're going to bend this, right? And we want to see. So to me, that is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit more stem off. We don't need all that extra stem. So let's see what we go with it. Now I have some of these that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I was there today looking to see if I could find just one more. And of course I could not. So I think I'm going to use the purple and the yellow one. And then I got this bush. Two of these. I got hydrangeas. And then, okay. So let's see how we want to arrange this. So, then again, I'm not sure if I want to use these. I can use these on another lantern. Okay. All right. Right now, we got to straighten them back out. So, I'm just going to build. So, you're going to put your tallest one. Up there first okay you want your your longest bush and then you build down and then I got this purple spread this purple out so they don't look smushed uh, if I want to add the white hydrangeas, I might just do these. I want those to drape down too. That'll be pretty. Now that is way too long. Yes, I'm holding these all in my hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna throw my hydrangeas. Or, oh, what are wisteria? That's what that is. <sighs> My brain's always on a five minute delay. Okay, so we're going to hold this up here and see if we like this. How do we want this? Do you want it tilted more to the side? I like it like that. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do right now is zip tie these together. And I'm going to add several zip ties because I don't want this coming apart. I usually don't decorate a whole lot for Easter, but this year I'm in a mood. I think it's just the beautiful um, pastel colors and it's just cheerful. Okay. Do I need another one? We'll just put one on here for good measure. Oh, 
All right. Uh, what the heck? I have to have odds. <laughs> so put one more. All right. Now I'll just go and snip these off. So we're going to need a pretty big bow. You'll hang down over there. Pretty. We're going to need a pretty big bow for this. <clears throat> Put that out of the way. <clears throat> this out of the way. And let me get some wire. Bigger. This is the only thing about this Bodabra wire I always get in a big, huge knot all the time. Come on. I got a brand new roll of it, but all right. Put that back in here. Let's move this over. All right. So you're just gonna take your adapter wire or whatever wire you're using, tuck it underneath. Okay. And I think I'm going to use this for my first ribbon because I think it's the only two and a half inch Easter one I have a full roll of. So, make my tail like that. Let's double that. And there's not much on here, so you got to be careful with that. I know I went on Craft Outlet the other night. I'm telling you, they are out of every single thing. You know what? I got a piece of this laying around. Let me just make this a tail so that don't go to waste. I'm going to put that one in that way. What else do I got? This was left over from um, a project I did yesterday. So you guys want to tell me what I did? <laughs> oh, it was the bunny, wasn't it? Yeah. I want my towels on every which way. It just got dark in here. The sun just went down. And if these are too long, the tails, when I'm done, I'll just cut them. No biggie. Okie dokie. Uh oh. Wire. That might go back this way. And I need one more piece going that away. So I'm just using up the end of my ribbons that there wasn't much left of. That way you're not wasting your ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Twist it so your uh, not pretty side is up. Okay. over here. I twist mine when it's down in. Some people twist it up before they push it down in. I I don't know why I twist mine like that once it's down in there. And 
however many loops I get out of this, wonderful. I think these only have two, three yards. Three yards. One more bow out of this. Hmm, no, nope, it's going to be too short. Okay, so I'm going to just cut this off. Okay, and then next I think I'm going to do the polka dot. So, if my bow is not big enough, then I will show you what I'll do. I just go in and um, add flowers. Lay down. Lay down. I just eyeball it. I don't really measure. This is going to be one huge bow. <laughs> it is, it is. Twist. Another color I want to add. Let me look. And this is nice. This bow dabber is just like having another pair of hands because you don't have to hold the bow. It holds it for you. Okay. Um, is there another color? This one got pretty teal. You know what? I think I'm going to add some of this pretty teal in there. So let me cut this. Is anybody doing anything exciting today? I'm not. Just some laundry. I only had one load, so it's done. I just gotta go put it in in the dryer. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do one more loop of this, <coughs> and we'll be done. Squish it down. Is my big head in the way? Sorry if it is. Okay, so I'm just going to push this down. And I always try to fluff. Um, a little bit when it's on the bodabra. And then <clears throat> this out. Right. So now you just take it up and you put your two strings through the loop, pull it down as tight as you can. Okay, so this is so, because this is so big, 
I am going to use a zip tie on it. Excuse me. To hold it better. Go back here, tie it. with that one as tight as you can get it. Okay. All right. And then we're going to cut that off. Now usually on my lanterns, I double bow. So I'll make a bow for the front. I also make a bow for the back. So let's see what this is going to cover. Behind here. <clears throat> oh, good grief. I didn't even tie the swag on. I'm all wacky. I'm a whack. Oh, God, guys. It sucks to be me sometimes. So I just want to tie that on. Make sure that's not going anywhere. Is it that I want it? I'm going to these. Move your eggs around. Get them out. Look at that. Where's all them eggs over here? Come on over here. Okay. All right. Now let's try the bow. And I'll fluff it after I get it back on. Come on under here. Okay, so I'm actually just tying this on to the um, alright, this tail goes up here and here's a tail here's a tail alright, fluff those loops out don't be afraid to pull them there's some Tails. There's a tail. Get your tails up there. This material is kind of soft. Just keep fluffing. You'll get it where you want it. I think that is really pretty. And it's festive um, for me. So um, this is for me. So now, <clears throat> what I was saying about the back. Since I'm not going to make another bow for the back, I still want to hide my mechanics. Okay. So, what I will do. Oops. Thank you. No, 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 no. Don't go that wrong way. Wrong way, Corrigan. Let me cut this off. I only need scissors for that. Oh, 
Okay. So what you can do on the back, so nobody sees this, is you can just just go back here and you can either make a little spray, okay? Um, I got these two and you can just put it right there so nobody sees your mechanics. I'm gonna wait because I'm probably gonna make another bow because I just like bows. Every but this is my table lantern. So let's move it up so y'all can see it. And then when you turn the light on at night, it'll be beautiful. And I'll fluff my bow out more. You got to play with these bows. Um, so that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little lantern video today. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. And I had a request. Let's just move this guy for a minute. Okay, so as you guys all know, I've been working on this cross wreath. Okay, so... What I did was I went in and made my floral piece with a piece of styrofoam, foam and then I added my flowers through it. So I am going to, um, you know what, I have time. You know what, I'm going to show you how to add those on. Let me grab my mesh. I just got a bag full of mesh. Some zip ties. We need some zip ties, guys. Okay. So, I'm not saying I'm going to finish it. Okay, so what I did was two light purples on the outside. I mean, one. It's one on the outside, two on the inside. So, what you're going to do is, I'm going to start here. You're getting two for one today. Just <clears throat> put your zip tie on. Don't close them all the way. All right. Okay. These are cut in 10 by 10. So this is a 10 inch. So I'm just pulling this. I got to put you back down. I'm just pulling this. And bringing it over and you're just going to put this on the outside and pull your mesh same thing pull grab it in the center try to get your finished seams on the outside Now for the center, you're going to use two dark purple. Okay, so one zip tie, pull corner to corner, flip it over. Now I'm going to hold this in my hand. If you can't, just get a um, close pin. Corner to corner, flip it up and over, and then these two will go in the middle. And I put them in about a fit, you know, before your line of your hair. So I'm going to go up to my next one. Zip tie. Okay. 
And like I said, I'm hoping I have enough of purple. Being that I made that center so big, I might. So, just flip it over. Get your finished seams on the outside. And I didn't get to cut this with my wood burning tool. So, <clears throat> I am looking at some frays. But you know what? Um... I think I'm going to mail this one home um, so that my son can put it on my parents' grave. I just hope nobody steals it. Because uh, that does happen. It, it's not the fact that I would lose money. It's the fact that it's for my, for my parents. Whom I dearly miss. I showed you guys their picture before. I have their picture in every room. This is my beautiful mother and father. Gosh, I miss them. Every day of my life. It's been 20 years that I miss them. Every day. It doesn't get easier. I still want to call her when something happens or I don't feel good or but you can't. Okay, so double that. And just push that in there. Make sure I lay that down. I hope this helps, Pam. I'm not going to finish it, but I'm going to at least get these sides done so you can just flip it over. Just put it in a little bit. I use a tie on that side. No. I'll post a picture of this on Facebook. Um, you guys can find me at Rhapsody and Ribbons on Facebook. If you need to email me, um, leave a comment. And I will put out my, give you my email address. Double the purple. Oh, that lantern is so cute. Okay. Double. Fold it in half. Did you guys all remember to turn your clock back? I didn't. But I knew it when I got up this morning. I'm like, oh, no big deal. So I think I can squeeze just one, one more of each and this bar will be done. And we'll stop there. <clears throat> And then probably I'll finish this today. <laughs> I'll go through and cut all my frays. <clears throat> Our furnace is acting up. So, um, we had to, my husband, it's chilly in the house. So, my husband had to fire up the wood stove this morning. So, we have to, I think it needs cleaned. So, we're going to have to call our furnace guy in the morning it it just <clears throat> doesn't run I mean 
it runs and then it shuts off and then it runs and shuts off. I think it's either the thermostat or it's um, needs cleaned. So it's probably been two years since I've had it cleaned. Um, yeah, let's see. Nope, I'm gonna need a couple more in there. But let me put you up more. So as you can see, I need to go in and still put more on this side and then finish the top and she'll be good to go. So really pretty. Of course, I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Purple, black, of course, I love black. And leopard print, I love leopard. So <clears throat> anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials today. I hope you're all with people you love and people who love you back. If you're sick, you're in my prayers. If you need a special prayer for yourself or a loved one, just let me know. I'll be happy to put that out on my channel. Um, pray for our men and women who serve in the U.S. military, our frontline workers, our nurses, our doctors, um, you know, our ambulance, any store worker, anybody who's out there dealing with a chance of getting COVID every single day. So God bless you all. And um, my next video is probably going to be a table centerpiece for Easter. Um, since I'm in such this huge Easter mood. Um, and I have that bunny sign too. <laughs> so um, that's okay. I'm going to put them up on um, Facebook Marketplace. And so hopefully I'll sell some. And at any time you guys have a question, whatever, feel free. You can contact me on Messenger, um, you know, whatever you need to do. So thank you guys. I love you all so much. If you would hit the like and share button, that helps me to get out there more. Um, so that's it. And as I always say, guys, ciao.